Number 10, Boat Graveyard. There's a strange boat graveyard on the shores of the River Blavé in France, over 50 fishing boats slowly decaying in the mud. Some of the oldest have been there since the 1920s, before World War II. The oldest have already deteriorated beyond recognition, leaving behind soggy skeletons. The entire coastline here is literally swamped with broken, derelict vehicles. The thing is, most people don't even know where they came from. They've just been abandoned through the years, and they always seem to mysteriously wash up right here on this beach in Kerhervy. This area of France is known for its fishing. Because of that, it's not too surprising that so many fishermen have left their vessels behind in the unofficial graveyard. The really surprising thing is that nobody's ever done anything to get rid of them. The ships just keep piling up, creating a beachfront of broken boats. Number 9. The Moonfish On a beach in Oregon, a 100-pound monster was found lying in the sand. Beachgoers were truly amazed at the fascinating creature, truly enormous with orange, red, and blue coloring covered in white polka dots. It was like nothing they'd ever seen before, and for good reason. The monster was in fact a moonfish, also known as an opa. It was discovered on the shore of Sunset Beach back in July, hundreds of miles from where it should have been. This thing got lost in the ocean, wandered from its natural habitat, and wound up very far from home. The moonfish has a flat and circular body, looking almost like a huge coin. Its eyes are golden, its face is silvery, and it can grow to be around six feet in length. Beachgoers didn't know what to think of the bizarre creature, so they posted pictures online and staff with a local seaside aquarium came to recover the remains. The fish was unfortunately dead already, but still in really good condition. They normally live off the coast of California and around Hawaii, and it's very rare for one to wind up so far north. One of the possible explanations is that the warming ocean temperatures have caused it to leave the waters around California because they're simply too hot. It's now moving into colder waters and occasionally getting stuck on northern beaches. Number 8. Deep Sea Light Bulb Fish On a beach in California, witnesses came across an elusive nightmare from the deep ocean. You've probably heard of this monster before. It's a terrifying predator known as the anglerfish. This is the scary fish with a light bulb dangling in front of its massive teeth to trick other fish into swimming directly into its mouth. Normally, such an abhorrent creature can't be seen unless you dive over 3,000 feet deep in the ocean. There, over 200 species of anglerfish are distributed throughout the world. Somehow, one of them ended up all the way in the sand of Crystal Cove State Park. Nobody knows how it got there, and none of the staff at the park had ever seen one in such great condition before. The unusual specimen was taken to the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles. That's how rare a discovery of this magnitude is. Anglerfish just aren't seen on the surface, especially not in perfect condition. The female anglerfish is able to grow around two feet in length, but the males of the species are quite a bit smaller, growing to only about an inch long. This is because in order to reproduce, the male bites onto the female and becomes a sexual parasite. Number 7. The Superbug A deadly superbug has been found on a remote island beach. It's the first time scientists have ever witnessed this particular organism living in the wild, and on the beach of all places. Let me give you some background. The superbug, named Candida auris, appeared in hospitals around the world about 10 years ago. According to Dr. Arturo Casadevall from Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health, the bug was a medical mystery. Nobody knew where it came from, and it especially confused doctors in Japan when it was first identified in a patient there in 2009. The bug is a type of fungus that spread across the globe and appeared on at least three continents at the same time. It caused bloodstream infections and proved to be resistant to antifungal drugs. Scientists are usually able to identify where these types of bugs come from in the world, but this has never been found in any natural environment. Related species have been seen in plants, but not C. auris. Scientists in India finally found the bug hiding in tropical beach sand on the Andaman Islands. This is a place where there's almost no human activity. Scientists are still trying to figure out how it made it from this remote beach into hospitals across the globe. Number 6. Shovelnose Guitarfish A shovelnose guitarfish was discovered by Eleanor Morgan as she was walking her dogs along Ocean Beach early on a Saturday afternoon. The San Francisco State University graduate had no idea what kind of creature she was dealing with when she came upon the corpse, comparing it to the spawn of a monster from a horror movie. This thing had a very long and pointy snout, it was a little over three feet in length, and it looked sick. Eleanor was more curious than anything. She snapped a couple photos and posted them online to see if someone could identify the creature. Some guessed it was a giant squid, others were positive it was an alien. But finally, a researcher from the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute identified it as the shovelnose guitarfish, so named because its body looks like a guitar. It's a foraging predator closely related to rays, except it doesn't have a venomous barb. How in the world did such a remarkable beast end up on the beach? 
it's actually not as interesting as you might think. These creatures are quite common along the coastline, living in shallow waters on the sea floor. It must have died and got pushed onto the beach during high tide. What would you do if you found a creepy fish sliming it up on the beach? Would you take pictures of it and move on or put it in a bucket and take it home with you for dinner? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe before the end of the video. Number 5. Smuggler's Boat A local man in San Diego was strolling along his favorite beach trail when he came across an abandoned boat. It was floating at the edge of the sand, looking incredibly suspicious. As an active member of his community, the man was concerned. He'd never seen it before and he didn't like the look of it. He phoned the police and they sent some deputies and lifeguards to get the boat before it could float away. When they looked inside, they found evidence that it may have been used as part of a human smuggling operation. They found life vests, backpacks, and gas cans. Plus, the fishing boat itself was barely more than a raft. It looked very similar to the dozens of other suspicious fishing boats that have been found all along the San Diego coast in recent years. It's more popular than you may think. The Coast Guard and Customs and Border Protection are always investigating abandoned boats found on beaches in San Diego. Some say that in recent years, with all the promises of building a border wall, people have taken to crossing the border in nondescript fishing boats. They abandon them on the beach and then make a break for it. Number 4. Carved Stone Pillar In the Canadian province of British Columbia, a huge stone pillar was found on the beach. It was absolutely enormous, weighing over 200 pounds and covered in sea scum. It was carved to look like a face and nobody had any idea where it came from. It was just there, lying in the sand as if it had fallen from the sky. The artifact has been studied over the past year since it was found in the summer, and the Royal BC Museum has now confirmed it to be an indigenous cultural treasure. Conservationists are currently working to preserve the stone, which had been submerged in seawater for quite some time and covered in algae. Scientists at the museum believe the pillar had probably once stood at the edge of a cliff along the beach, perhaps as part of some larger complex for weather ceremonies. But hundreds, maybe even thousands of years ago, the cliffs crumbled and the pillar was lost under the rocks of the beach. It was only now that the beach has shifted that the amazing long-lost artifact has been revealed. Number 3. Plague of Seagulls In the UK, a dog walker was strolling along a beach in Cornwall when they discovered something gruesome. They came across the corpses of 30 dead seagulls as if they had been shoveled off the back of a truck. According to what the dog walker told local news, it was very disturbing. She does come across the occasional dead bird, but she's never seen so many in one place. But don't worry, things get worse. The DERFA Animal and Plant Health Agency went to investigate the mysterious deaths of the birds and found that most of the gulls had avian influenza. You probably know it better as bird flu or H5N1. It's a highly pathogenic flu virus which decimates entire bird populations and is known for infecting humans. There's no cause for alarm right now, but it is pretty scary. The authorities in the UK have been sure to let their citizens know that if they see any dead birds on the beach, stay away. Number 2. Seminole War Artifacts a lucky teenager named Nick was looking for treasure near Corrigan's shipwreck south of Turtle Trail Beach in Florida. Visibility that day was crystal clear, so good that he didn't even need his metal detector. He was just walking along the beach about 1,500 feet from the main shore, sifting with his hands through potholes. Even so far from the main beach, the water was only 10 feet deep. That was when he discovered a very rare gold coin from 1715. The coin had almost definitely belonged to one of the local shipwrecks. Back in 1715, a fleet of Spanish ships were sunk by a hurricane and sent to the bottom of the ocean. Their remains can now be found all the way from Sebastian to the St. Lucie nuclear plant. But finding a coin buried in the sand is incredibly rare. Nick estimated his coin's worth at $10,000, and that's only one. There are still thousands of gold coins missing from the Spanish fleet. Number 1. Dinosaur Footprint a little girl was walking with her family on a beach in Wales one day when she noticed something strange on a slab of stone. It looked like a handprint, only one made by some kind of a terrible monster. She called her parents, who immediately realized they were staring at a fossilized dinosaur footprint. Researchers with the National Museum of Wales descended on the beach like fossil scavengers. They took the rock back to their laboratory for analysis. They were able to date the print as coming from 220 million years ago. It turned out to be one of the best examples of a dino print anywhere in the United Kingdom. It's incredibly detailed with the pads of the feet and the tips of the claws still visible. What kind of creature left the track behind? It was some kind of bipedal dinosaur with three toes. It must have been living at the beginning of the Triassic period when the UK was still a desert with salty lakes. But other than that, researchers don't know too much about the creature. It left the footprint behind only 10 million years after dinosaurs first evolved meaning it was most likely one of the first major dino predators. 
Have you ever found any prehistoric footprints on the beach? If you have, let us know all about it in the comments below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks so much for watching and come back soon for more awesome videos right here on American Eye.